Okay, so um, as we were talking about um, sustainability, I will be talking about three main concepts during my presentation. One is like um, how Accidian Skylight, it's a very powerful network service assurance tool. How sustainability can be part of this um, assurance, a new way of just looking at the assurance as well, and how we can leverage the automation with all these, uh, putting all these together. So, Skylight. I think we were just talking during uh, previous sessions about this, but basically what we are doing is providing this information on how the service, the end-to-end -end service, is performing. And it all starts with the data. So the data is what it's giving us I this visibility. So we collect uh, this end-to-end -end service assurance with our sensors, and we do it in a way that the information we collect is very, I mean, we are just providing this full visibility. We can monitor literally any flow, any service over the full network. And we do it with, uh, we collect very good data. And that's important. The good data is what mm, gives you the right visibility. If you are just not doing the, you don't have the right resolution, you don't have the right granularity, you are going to be missing a lot of information. So this is what we do with our skylight sensors. And uh, we are collecting all this data. And OK, you can have many data points, many a lot of information. But if you are not able to extract meaningful information out of that, it's it's useless, basically. So that's why we have our Skylight analytics in the picture. So we are just ingesting all this data, and we extract meaningful inf information out of that. And with that, we provide this end-to-end -end visibility over uh, its multi-vendor. That's important as well. We don't want to be restricted only to Cisco devices or Cisco parts of the network, and also multi-domain. And on top of that, it's like the action part. The action uh, could be something as simple as just be able to understand out of this data, uh, just with a few clicks, just to uh, understand what's going on, if there is any issue, if what's going wrong. Also, uh, because we can detect anomalies, uh, we, can the, we, can, we are able to see if there is any um, like if things are going wrong, uh, act on that. So for that, we are leveraging our integrations with um, with the automation Cisco automation platforms, with CNC and with NSO. And also, it's it could be also something like uh, generate new revenue, and we can do that with our uh, end customer portal. And tomorrow there will be a session about that with more details. But uh, it's, I, I was talking about the data and how important it is, but also how important it is to have the right tool to extract meaningful information. And we do that with our uh, performance analytics. And the way we do it, we ingest the data there, we add contextual information, and the contextual information, it can be different depending on the customer. Depending, So we are using for that metadata that it's fully um, flexible. So the customer can choose which metadata he, they want to use on the system. So we use all this metadata uh, to do correlation to do, um, uh, we can do proactive alerting, but also based on this context uh, as well. So, and in analytics, what we are doing is like, because we are doing that continuously, we get the data continuously, we build this um, statistical model of the network, so we can detect anomalies, we can detect trends, we can, uh, we can look at uh, how things are, are happening, and also it could be used for reporting, for analysis, for a lot of things. And also we can ingest not only our data, but also third-party data, I mean, that data from any source. And uh, also, we are the, we have uh, all these open APIs that allow us to integrate into like the automation system, and that's also important, an important part of the solution, because then you know when you create a new service. Uh, in the past, uh, the service was created, then it was handed over to a, a different team that was just creating the assurance on that. There was a gap. So now we can do that uh, immediately. So at the same time, we create the service. We add the assurance. With, it could be with NSO. It could be with uh, CNC. And then it, uh, the assurance is uh, part of the service life cycle. And on top of that, we can enable the automation um, capabilities because we provide information on how the system, uh, the services are performing. So we can just feed up uh, on the orchestra to the orchestrator, like alerts. We can feed uh, KPIs, so the orchestration can take the right decisions, right? So. Now I'm talking. I'm going to be talking about sustainability. How does it? Uh, I mean, what does it? 
have to do sustainability with all these assurance uh, things. So basically, uh, we are doing sustainability, we are adding it as an additional KPI, the same as the rest of the assurance information like latency, packet loss, all these. And it's not something we just made up, it's because we had customers using the assurance solution that were interested in getting this information. And not only for internal purposes, but also they wanted to be able to show that to their end customers, post this information to their end customers. And the way we build this with them, uh, there are like three components, right, to, to the solution. So one is a Skylight platform, of course. Then we are using also NSO to do the, all, the, all the provisioning, all the automation. And then there is the, this new component, which is the sustainability app. And the sustainability app is providing us the information, like the performance, info, the sustainability KPIs, like power, uh, carbon footprint, uh, efficiency, all this. The way it works, and we were working with an innovation team in Cisco just to be able to build this sustainability app. Uh, there are like different uh, inputs into that. So one of them, of course, and it's been like in talks uh, just before me, uh, is uh, electricity maps. So we need to understand if uh, to be able to derive like the carbon footprint, we need to understand uh, what's the source of this uh, energy. So if it's more like coming from oil, it will be different than if it's coming from like uh, solar or any other sources. So that's, that's one of the inputs that we are using. The other one is we need to understand, because we are exposing this not only by device, but also by service, we need to understand what's the path the service is taking. And we are taking that from the network. And also we need to understand, uh, I mean, we know the path, but we need to understand what are the devices that the, the path is traversing. So we can also know, we need to know also how much power they are consuming. And then we are just, you know, the innovation team is like uh, just doing all this calculation. Uh, and then we get these KPIs at the end, which is like uh, things like power per service, uh, carbon footprint per service. And then we can just uh, display that into analytics in, uh, in the Skylight platform together with other assurance KPIs. So that's why we say uh, sustainability as a KPI, as an additional assurance KPI, because now we can see if uh, a pass uh, uh, how much uh, power uh, it's consuming by, by service, how much uh, carbon footprint, and we can display that together with things like latency, for example. So now that we are exposing uh, this information per service, we can also use this as a... Um, at the same as we are, we will do with latency. For example, if you have a lower latency pass, probably you will want to switch uh, your service to that uh, lower latency. So we can do the same with power, actually, or with carbon footprint. So we can just use it as an additional KPI. And this is uh, what, what our customers want to do. And this is where all this integration with NSO comes together. So all the three uh, uh, components of the solution. So now we are able to, in uh, our analytics platform, we can show visibility, uh, we can provide visibility of sustainability KPIs over time uh, in different dashboards. We, uh, by the com combining this, uh, like, uh, traditional service assurance KPIs with these sustainability KPIs, we can give the choice to users to decide, okay, I might take a, a different uh, path, a different service path that it's uh, uh, consuming less power or it's like uh, more optimal in terms of uh, carbon footprint, even if it adds a little bit more of delay to my end-to-end -end service, but it's uh, still under the SLA. So you have the choice to be able to do that. That's why we say it's like, uh, it's it provides greater insights than uh, the combination of all these KPIs together. And also we can, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you can uh, make also this available to end customers using uh, the out-of-the-box capability of the um, customer portal that we have in analytics as well. So 
Uh, this is some examples of uh, how we can expose the information in dashboards. Our dashboards are fully, custo uh, you are fully flexible. You can build your own dashboards with the information, and then you can add more uh, additional information, like contextual information, like per region, per service, per customer, etc. And this is an example of a, a customer portal where we can expose not only the SLAs to the end customer, but also we can expose things like carbon in in uh, intensity as well so and uh, yeah at the end of the day uh, what we can do with that is uh, provide additional uh, new services uh, to the end customers so this could be an, uh, something that they can expose they can uh, uh, make uh, their own customers decide if they want to take uh, different paths that are more like sustainable uh, it's also a way of demonstrating uh, power carbon footprint reduction because you have all the visibility you can just uh, create reports you can just uh, see uh, efficiencies you can just organize the data as you want in our in, in our analytics platform and also we can that you can detect use it to detect anormal trends because we are doing that over time uh, we can uh, this is using the same uh, capabilities our like uh, our traditional assurance information so uh, detect an anomalies uh, you can uh, uh, we can set up uh, thresholds based on uh, baselining all these kind of things and also we can benefit from the integration of a skylight with the automation platforms with NSO CNC and um, yeah, I'm just going to be jumping into a quick demo where we use NSO to, pro to create uh, a new service between two endpoints. So this is like uh, showing how we, cre we create uh, the new service. So it's all fully um, following all the life cycles. So this is creating the um, configuration on both routers, both ends. So in this case, it's a lab in Italy where we have uh, uh, two sensors on both sides of the routers where we are creating the service. We are adding the assurance uh, at the same time with NSO. And um, then, yeah, well, this is the information that uh, the configuration, so this is the configuration for the skylight. So we are adding a T1 session. We are adding metadata. This is the contextual information that I was mentioning before. And then we send uh, this uh, into like uh, the routers for the service, uh, the skylight configuration uh, for the assurance. And then once this is done, it will just create the T1 session. So this is how it's showing how the new T1 session is created in our system. It will show the parameters of the of the session. The T1 session is the assurance session with uh, you know all the information, how many packets per second, collecting the data, and then we can go into the inventory. This is the metadata, this is the contextual information. So it could be anything that customer it's important for the customer, and then we will be using that in all the analytics platform. And this is uh, once the session is created, the service is created, we start monitoring it. We start to get uh, information, SLA information. And then in this case, we are um, creating the service we were creating was over a specific policy, which is like the 232, which is going between Iskia and Colano. It's like, logically, it's a more direct path. But if you look at the uh, sustainable, at the power, carbon footprint, um, information there is an alternative which is going through policy 231 which is, is not the most direct uh, path but you know we can automate that uh, in a way that this information is uh, uploaded into NSO so the next step will be okay maybe I want to switch this uh, this service onto the new policy 231 and then I will be using NSO. This is now doing, I mean, we are doing that manually, but it could be automated, of course, like sending an alert or sending the KPI into NSO saying, OK, I want to go through this new uh, policy, which is more sustainable, right? And this is something you can automate. It could be a closed loop. And uh, it's uh, doing the changes. Uh, NSO is doing the changes. So we see now that the uh, new service ID and is using the new policy. We are starting to visualize the data in, in analytics. And what we see, actually, is when we made the change, actually, the latency is lower than, uh, than before, even though it's not taking, like, because the end-to-end -end service, uh, even though it's like taking a longer 
passed logically on, on, on the map, basically what we are seeing is the latency is lower, so it's even better. But if it was the other way around, let's say that, for example, your latency is increasing a little bit, it, you can take the decision to still keep it, even if it's like a little bit more, a few more milli microseconds or milliseconds, uh, as long as within the SLAs, right? So this is a decision you can take now because you have the visibility. And then on the last part of the demo, I'm just showing some of the uh, other uh, analytics capabilities where we can just show this. This is dashboards that uh, we can customize. You can expose that. You can go back in time. So we can go back in time one year. So you can see the trends, how uh, your KPIs are evolving. And also, this is a customer portal where we are exposing. And the customer portal, you will have full visibility over all the your customers, and we are using the metadata for that, and then you can expose as well carbon intensity as well to the end customer. So that could just be another additional service that you are providing to them. So that's my presentation. So I hope now you understand why I was talking about why Skylight is a powerful network service assurance tool, also how sustainability can be an additional assurance KPI, and also how we can just uh, leverage the automation um, integrations of Skylight with NSO and eventually with CNC as well. So that's all. <laughs>